Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Asgard's Wrath. So we're gonna get started, and I got some stuff to explain as loading screens happen and such. So, uh, some may have noticed that I did a previous LP. Uh, that was basically more a proof of concept, and I was trying stuff out and seeing how it worked, working out the kinks of recording PC VR, etc. And uh, so that, as a result, I decided to go ahead and can that playthrough. I didn't get very far. But uh, I wanted to see if there was an interest in it. That. I just want to see if there was an interest in it and work out kinks. Biggest kink, as it turned out, was my computer. I couldn't run both the game and then jump into the Oculus Link software, which was a real killer in terms of uh, playability, as it were. So... Uh, I was already kind of planning on it, but I did decide to hop on some uh, early Black Friday, Black Friday deals, and built another PC. So I'm now playing on my new PC with much better graphics card, and uh, oh, I'm a little bit messed up. Hey. Game is just not. I feel like I'm off center. Strange. But anyway, so uh, the first video, I don't know if this will, but the first video before got a ton of views, so if you're here for the first time, hello and welcome. I've got a ton of videos spanning back over a decade at this point. Uh, maybe you can find some games that you'd want to check out. Otherwise, I think I'm going to play VR games as my new games, so... We'll see how it goes. Um, not much to add to that. I also am no longer using the Oculus microphone. I got myself a mod mic. Um, it's not the wireless one, it's the wired, but that's because I play PC VR with the direct connection. I don't have a, don't really have a dedicated wireless router, which is useful. What I could have done is I could have, uh, I could have just been created a private network between my computer and the headset, which is possible, but I don't know if that necessarily be better. Uh, I would rather keep it plugged in just so I can keep it powered up. And because of that, I just connect, I just attached my uh, audio cable to it. So there's basically like one long cable. And so far it hasn't been an issue, just a little bit of cable management. As I'm walking, oh, that's going to be annoying. Everything, yeah, everything appears to be recording correctly, so. Here's to hoping. Okay. Nature of course the void so you run into existence. Man, I love the faster loading times. That was also really annoying. So one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest issues I had. Oh, before we continue to let me. It is not. I want to turn on subtitles. Probably because I guess this is a cinematic. Come out and fight! Hey. 
So, interesting thing is that this is much more responsive, at least in terms of my actions actually causing something to happen. At least in this part, you know, it's a big thing to happen. I went from running the lowest settings and kind of feeling like I was struggling and it was degrading my performance to max settings and not having much in terms of issues. So, see how it goes. This is definitely much more responsive. You don't say. Oh, that's dumb. Have to be swinging motion. Well, so, I'm hoping that this, more or less, is indicative of what the next game will be, because I will most likely be playing that, because I do enjoy this game quite a bit from what little I've played. You know, me having relatively limited VR experience, having a full VR game is nice, and I'm hoping the second game... Uh, is going to be graphically good while not destroying my new computer. I found that the biggest, uh, I guess, bottleneck was for my previous ones, probably my VRAM. And that more or less added up because I was having issues with uh, this one, my new graphics card, practically maxing out too, so. Hell. There's nothing to lose. All to gain. No near. Get behind me. My destiny is in my hands. You think I'm afraid of you, eh? Huh? That there. Take it. <laughs> Excellent. Come, find me in Asgard! Hero stones, the fool stone, just as the cold turns the winter into ice. The actions of individuals can crystallize their virtues and made solid by the gods. Roggenwald's actions... Wow, I didn't have enough time to read that. That's actually kind of nice. Aegir's Hall. Okay, cheers to that. All right, let me... Oh, won't let me do that yet. Major's Halls, extra track. I still am not used to which button's which. There we go. 
so tunneling is off, camera shake is on, sure, turn speed, move speed, volume. Um wasn't there a maybe not. Huh, I guess there wasn't a I guess there wasn't in this game, okay. That or I'm blind, I'm not sure. It's weird how the HUD doesn't seem to uh, know it's in, like, a 3D space. It kind of seems to be 2D. different than the other iterations I've seen him in. Hi. Oh, oh. Hey, did you hear about the mighty sea monster? Let me guess. Ah. It was a this big. Ah. Hey now. Uh, oh. Think you can beat me? Don't think so. Man, I'm already starting to get hiccups. That sucks. Hi. Come back when you've got some coins. My... Nope. Too far away. Come and drink to victory. Oh. Ah, little god, you have gained glory. You're a Kraken Slayer, <laughs> and you have earned my favor. With my guidance, you will wield great power and learn to be a true god. I, the great, the powerful Loki, will be teacher. And you, my honored pupil. Uh-huh. In return, I require the hero stone you acquired from the Kraken. It is but a small payment for my infinite wisdom. Come now, hand it over. I have something for you, too. Take it. You know, something about you makes me want to trust With you, but also not trust you. I think it's your voice. Awaits. Now, there is a shield maiden. Her mouth spits flame like a dragon, and she seeks to burn another of Asgard. Go, find her, and help her fulfill her destiny. Okay. Iron Will Shieldman has lost her brother to the god Tyr and his warrior cult. He swore to avenge her brother and kill Tyr. Good luck with that. Put your backs into it, bro! Yeah. Aho, me 
Going well so far. Dead yet. Drown me. Burn me. No matter what you do, Tyr, I will hunt you down. Gods and goddesses of Asgard, help me avenge my brother! And there she is, the Spitfire Shield Maiden. No time to lend a helping hand, hmm? Now. You have the power to possess this mortal. Reach out. This energy. What is this feeling? Have the gods answered my call? I knew you showed potential. Now, mortals need sustenance to survive or recuperate from injury. Look around for nourishment. Good. Feeling better? You don't look like a lifeless drug any longer. I have something for you. Come over here. I have created this pouch for you. It can store countless items along your travels. Take it. Are you refusing my gift? <laughs> Did not know that would happen. You can attach it to you. Items you find can be stored in the pouch on your hip. Have a look around. That looks good. Oh, man, don't give me hiccups. I should probably show you how to return to your godly form. This is a god altar. The gateway between your godly form and that of a mortal. To activate it, you will need a god room. Open your pouch and get the god room. There, grab the god room. Now, set the rune in its place on the god altar. Perfect. Return to your godly form. A power is flowing in and out of me. <laughs> Move around! What do you see? From here, you have a larger view of their world. In this form, you can move and manipulate objects like toys. You can open pathways and change the course of a hero's destiny. Is there anything specific I needed to do? Feeding. Fueling my anger. My rage. Tear. I will. You have a natural affinity with the beast. Could you be the god of animals? Now, I grant you the power to transform that shark to do your bidding. I am Eel. I am sworn to protect. Good, my pupil. With my guidance, other beasts will be at your beck and call. Set it on the ground and return to the shield maiden. Your powers are developing rapidly. 
With the God Altar active, you can switch at will between the girl and your godly form. In this area. Bastard son. Was it completely what is clear? This monster? It is not attacking me. Yes. I see an ally summoned by the gods to aid me. My blades are at your command. Followers will obey your every command. They have unique talents that can be called upon. See what the shark makes of this tasty corpse. Give me a sec. Hmm. Pointed that cage to activate the shark's ability. Previous run through knowledge coming uh -oh. in. I discovered this by accident the first time. That was actually really interesting. Which my hand started vibrating when I wasn't looking. Went, oh, I can move this. The shark looks hungry. Command him to that corpse. So, interestingly enough, these are, those appear to be random. Um, Command sure the I'm not going to run into anything. Cage. I'm not. Okay, good. Uh, I got pretty bad luck from these these couple times, so um. Act now. That corpse has aged well. A fine treat for the beast. Command him to take a bite. This disgusting beast has cleared a path. Wow, that's a what a way to talk it's about the person to who came to help you. And continue with the shield maiden's pursuit of revenge. We will need to provide her with weapons and equipment. Let's search the tombs. Meet me at the top of the stairs. We'll do. We need some stuff down here first. Crap, huh? I got really lucky Go there. when I first tried out this game. Got like a trophy or something different out of that. Got you. So these guys give you the bonus to your inventory spaces, so that is kind of important. I do know what this one is. It was tastiest above its feet, which would be under consumables? Raw bird meat. Was it raw bird meat? I could think it was. Got it. Okay. And I got a golden needle, and that's what I used on my, my item pack. Okay, that's everything in the immediate vicinity. I really, really wish I had a way of knowing how much time has gone by without looking outside my headset. Might be something for that, but I'm too lazy to check. I could set a timer outside of my recording, but be sure to have your follower by your side. Come back. Okay. Dragar! You dare defile oh. my kin's tomb? You will find no treasure here. Only your head. Seems this tomb is still occupied. Be cautious. You don't have a weapon yet, so you'll have to command your follower to fight for you. Ha! A truly deadly beast in my control. My enemies will quake with fear. I think that's enough of my guidance for now. It's time for you to use yes. your own ingenuity. Continue Silver searching the tomb for a weapon. 
and I do need to collect as much as I can of this stuff because it can actually be used to get like better versions of it like upgrades and it's used for like crafting and everything so it must be years since anyone has set foot in here. The Draugar are drawn to the treasure. Maybe I can find a weapon hidden deep below. You wanna... With pleasure. I need you there. The door will not open without the handle. I must find it. Command. Okay. Here's the handle. You are proving your worth, beast. There. This could prove useful. Money never hurts. Especially because you can use it to actually buy the resources. You don't need to necessarily find everything. Come on. Come right. Jeez, that was very particular. I will shred them to pieces. Yes. Huh. A door lies okay. on the other side of this pit, but these spikes need to be dealt with first. My physical body actually can get in his way. Warriors crypt. These markings. This is the crypt of Ode the Brave. A legendary chieftain. A master bladesman. Forward. Dare I look inside the crypt? I need like a his, his opinion right now is like meh. I don't know if that goes up or what. Boss, I will end this quickly. A blade like this can turn the tide of battle. Use it well. Uh-huh. Oh, there we go. I was like, why can't I move? Because it's a story point. What do you think? I've created this training space in Ganungagop where I can show you fighting techniques. And you can practice them. Your sword is a hero weapon. Locate it in your pouch and equip it. Good. Hero weapons are magically linked to you. They will reappear at your side, even after they're thrown. Now your turn. Okay, come on. Why? Perfect. Gotta be That's it. more specific, I guess. Nothing is better for survival than preparedness. Okay, we're getting a fight. 
Now I find the throwing a sword mechanic kind of funny. Perfect weapon to plunge deep because into Tears black heart. Why don't give me like a spear a or something out. to throw, but there must be a way out. Is annoying. There must picking be a up way out. stuff near my hip weapon. Since I get two hip weapons eventually, that's just really annoying. So it's throwing like lower than you can think. Oh, we're getting a fight. I don't get in a fight here? I thought I get a fight here. Did I skip it accidentally or something? What type of burial chamber is this? Oh, maybe it was just down here. This won't be hard for me. Ah, a dead end. Ah, I must find a way out. Shark tooth. Oh, hi. Not sure that one missed. Says the person who's literally just chucking your infant over to you. But how are these missing? Is my auto aim off? Creatures. Okay, there's an auto aim setting, I think. Um, full motion, a ton of camera trick, turn, turn to snap, yes. Um, aim assist is on full. What the? F you You're just that bad of a shot, I guess. No more. There is actually a use of rotten flesh, I do believe. Turn up, we've done that. I don't want to hit anything in my room. I have space to do VR, but it's not like a big open one. Oh, jeez. That gave me nothing? Can't be. Oh, there we go. There's nothing I can see from back there. Look at the floor. Look at the floor. Practically nothing. Okay. Portal. If this is the way out, so be it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video off here. I'm looking for my thing to turn off my recording. Good. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for this first video. Thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.